This is really exciting for me because when a person realizes they don't have to accept the pain or the stress in their body, they get to do the things they love to do. With every muscle in your body, you can regain control, strength, and flexibility. So it's just a matter of being able to have your brain learn something new. For example, as adults, we get stuck into the groove of doing the same things over and over again. It becomes habitual. I like using the analogy of a record because the record represents our memory. And as adults, over time, we get into habituated patterns. For example, when people come to me and see me privately and they say I have a bad back, I have a bad knee, I have a bad shoulder, really what's happened is that their brain has just lost contact with that potential or that range of movement with their shoulder. So in other words, the groove in the record is so deep that they don't know that they can actually move their shoulder a couple inches to the left and actually free up their neck. Let's say that there's an office worker and he or she is all day on the phone typing or typing and doing very busy work that creates a lot of stress. And throughout the day the shoulders keep rising slowly and slowly so by the end of the work day he or she puts down his work or her work and they leave and their shoulders are still up to their ears. And they go home and they complain of their shoulders hurting or their neck hurting. So they take an aspirin or they go get a massage or, or worse yet, they even go to bed stress, wake up stress and just start the same pattern the next day. So this is one way sensory motor amnesia can happen, is it's a habitual pattern. And over time, the brain actually um, loses con voluntary uh, control over those muscles. So a person actually believes that this is a relaxed muscle. And so when they come and see me individually, they're saying, oh, my shoulders are, are tight, they hurt. And I'm saying, well, can you let your shoulders relax? And they don't, they don't know how. They've actually just lost contact. So with Hannah Somatic Education, I help a person regain control over those muscles so they can remember the full potential. And we can do this for every single muscle in the body. Because oftentimes people complain of bad backs, bad knees, bad shoulder. And literally it's, it's from one of these patterns, whether it's stress related, whether it was from an injury, or whether it's just something that they've unconsciously done over time, over and over again. So the brain likes to be challenged. You know, as children, we like to be jumping around, we're doing cartwheels, diving in the pool, we're climbing trees. Um, we're constantly stimulating the mind. And as adults, we just continue, we like comfort. We like things to stay the same. And so with Hannah Somatics, we like to break things up a little bit. So a lot of the exercises are geared to almost scramble the brain um, so that you can experience uh, your true potential. I have uh, an elderly lady who's in her 70s and she came in in a walker and the doctors couldn't explain what was happening to her musculature and what was happening was she was actually in a starter reflex where all of her muscles in the front of her body were pulling her forward and in a series probably of three months, one session a week, she was actually able to continue stand up finding more strength in her back muscles, relieving some of, the, uh, some of the tension in her stomach muscles and it helped her stand up straight. So it really is great to be able to share this with you and I hope that you'll enjoy these exercises.